Hello and welcome to ESPN Crick Info Dailies. I'm Jason Dacey with the top cricket news this Saturday. First up, coach Ravi Shastri says the Indian team's objective is to play like the number one test team in the world. England beat South Africa by two wickets in the second T20I at Durban. And as he gets ready to play his 100th test, Ross Taylor says he thought he would never play test cricket after his very first series. India coach Ravi Shastri has said the objective in the two test series in New Zealand is to play like the world's number one test team and collect full points, 120 of them, to be in contention to play at Lords in the World Test Championship final in 2021. India are currently on top of the championship table, winning two tests out of the ones in New Zealand or the four in Australia later this year should put India in a good position to make that trip to Lords. Shastri said the one day is relatively irrelevant this year in what is a T20 World Cup year and that the tests matter more right now. England held their nerve to level the series against South Africa with a thrilling two-run victory in the second T20 International in Durban. South Africa needed three off the last two balls to reach their target of 205, but Tom Curran dismissed Dwayne Pretorius and Bourne Fortune to secure the win. Pretorius hit a six and a four to put South Africa on the brink, but Curran responded with a superb Yorker to remove him LBW. Curran then sent down a slower ball that Fortune ramped to Adil Rashid at short fine leg, leaving the hosts agonisingly short at 202 for seven. New Zealand batsman Ross Taylor is on the cusp of making history, becoming the first cricketer ever to play 100 international matches in each of the three formats in the first test against India in Wellington. Ross Taylor, who has 99 test matches to his tally since making his debut in 2007, felt he would not cut it at the highest level in this format following just his first tryst with it. I think after my first test series against South Africa, I, I didn't think I'd, um, I didn't know if I'd play test cricket again. I've been been happy with, um, you know, with, with what I've achieved today, uh, to date. Um, you know, test cricket and, and cricket as general is a better, you know, you go through a lot of ups and downs and, and that's definitely, um, you know, what, what I've been through and, and as a team as well. Only three other New Zealanders, that's Daniel Vittori, Stephen Fleming and Brendan McCullum, have played 100 tests for New Zealand. Taylor has so far scored 1,933 half-centuries in his test career.